Hey guys, in this video, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through the 2024 FRQ. So for those of you guys that are first timers, I welcome. This is gonna be Calc AB. I know you guys are getting ready for the AP exam. You may be a little bit worried. So I wanna kinda at least maybe something I can share with you that'll kinda ease your, your anxiety. Um, so there's basically six types of FRQs. I'm gonna focus on only one right now, okay? Now, one thing I want you guys to to think about it, uh, when you're doing these, as soon as you see something, I want you to go into a mode of uh, what to look for. So, for example, I call this the table question. As soon as you see a table, they're going to ask you for either rate of change at a, at a certain point. They're going to ask you either left hand, right hand, trapezoidal rule. Okay, they're going to ask you for the average value that comes up a lot. And then probably will give you another type of function to try to figure out uh, the rate of change somehow. Um, also with these, um, they're always, always looking to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So my other videos, um, I have a lot of these, so go back and take a look at them. But <clears throat> I want to show you that these aren't very, very difficult. All right, guys, so just uh, bear with me here. So it says... Uh, the temperature of the coffee, of coffee in a cup at time t, uh, minutes is modeled by the decreasing differential function. C of t is measured in degrees Celsius. <clears throat> For the time between 0 and 12, uh, the selected values are given in the table. And part A, that's going to be the easiest part. Approximate C prime of 5 using the average rate of change of C over the interval between three and five, very, very straightforward. So between three and seven, we're talking about right here. Okay, so what do we do? Well, C prime of five. Okay, hopefully you can see that. All we're doing is our rate of change formula. So C seven minus C of three all over seven minus three. That's your slope formula, that's all it is y2 minus y1 over x, x2 minus x1, if you want to think about it that way. C7, well, that's going to be 69 minus 85. Okay, on the bottom, we're going to get 4. And then when you do the math, you're going to get negative 4. All right, and it makes sense, right? Because we're talking about a cup of coffee, and the temperature is going to be going down, right? Now, if you forget the values, guys, just remember, what are the values of C? C here is degree Celsius, okay? Now, remember, your X is always going to be your independent variable. So if you forget, just remember, X is always time. X is always time. So my Y is degree Celsius. So uh, degree Celsius per minute, okay? And that's it. That's it, guys. So it's changing at negative four degrees Celsius per minute. Not too hard at all. <clears throat> all right, let's go to the next part. <clears throat> Look at here. Use a left Riemann sum with three sub intervals. Okay. Now, a lot of students ask me, I've seen left hand, I've seen right hand. I do, you're going to see trapezoidal. I don't, I haven't seen the midpoint. I think I've seen it probably once in the last 20 years. So you don't have to worry about that one too much. <clears throat> Because remember, you want to, you, when you're doing these problems, you want to know, you want to fine tune your focus, okay, what to look for. You don't want to study the whole gambit, okay. When you're looking at the table, they're going to ask for specifics. All right, so left-hand Riemann sum, and this is the way I do it with my students. So I make them do boxes, one, two, three. Those are my rectangles, left hand, so we're doing this, here, here, here. I do that because it's a visual, you know, a lot of, a lot of us are more visual than, um, than anything. So it says, um, approximate the value of the integral from zero to 12 of CTDT. So CTDT approximating the value is, okay. So how do we find the area of a rectangle? Well, base times height. So what's the base from three to zero? What's that difference? Three take away zero. Well, that's three times what? What's the height? Right here at the left side, it's 100. So 3 times 100. All right, let's go to the next rectangle. 
7 minus 3 is 4 times the y value is 85. There we go. Plus the last one, 12 minus 7 is 5 times 69. And that's it. <clears throat> and if you do it right, um, I believe the answer is 7985. Give me one second. Yep, it is 985. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot my calculator at school. Um, so I'm just going based on the values here. So that's it, 985. Now, <clears throat> um, the other thing that they asked for, it says interpret the meaning of 1 over 12 the integral from 0 to 12 of ct dt in the context of the problem. Now, hopefully, this should be familiar to you. This is the average value. Well, what value are we talking about? We're talking about <clears throat> temperature of the coffee, okay? So what you can write here, 1 over 12 from 0 to 12 of ct dt. <clears throat> and all you want to do is say, is the average, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to be uh, doing handwriting here, average temperature of the coffee, okay, from t equals 0 to t equals 12. That's it. That's all you got to do. <clears throat> average what? what? What are we talking about? Temperature of the coffee. That's it. That's it. Was that hard? No. You get three points for this. You get one point for this setup, one point for the uh, the value here, the estimate, and then another point for the interpretation. That's it, guys. That's not hard at all. Very, very doable. Okay. Uh, you got five points right there because I believe the first question was two points. Yep, two points. <clears throat> nothing, nothing that's too difficult. All right. Letter C. <clears throat> now... I know because my AB students, sometimes they look at this and they get scared and they freaked out. You know, UBC students, um, you know, you guys are used to it. Now, letter C. For the time between 12 and 20, the rate of change. So look at that. The rate of change of the temperature. They give me something else. Of the coffee is modeled by this. Okay. All right. Where C prime of T is measured in degrees Celsius per minute. Okay. So... Per minute, there's your rate of change, okay? All right. Find the temperature of the coffee at time t equals 20. Now, this is a class, <clears throat> classic problem. Okay, well, the first question is like, well, Sandoval, how am I going to find the temperature? How am I going to find the temperature when they give me the rate of change, right? They give me the rate of change of the temperature. How do I find the temperature? You're going to integrate the rate. If you integrate the rate of change, C prime of T, you're going to end up y with the temperature, right? Because remember, C prime of T, that's the rate of change. All you got to do is integrate this guy, and then that gives you the temperature. Well, what are my values? Well, they give them to you, 12 to 20. And this is your fundamental theorem of calculus, guys. Right? What does this give you? Capital C, 20 minus capital C of 12, right? Isn't that what they tell you? Now, what are we trying to find? This value right here. So we're going to rearrange it. So all I got to do is take this guy to the left, and I'm going to write it nice and pretty here. So C of 20 is equal to C of 12 plus the integral from 12 to 20 of C prime of T dt. And that's it. Now, I like doing it this way just because sometimes... Depending on what they ask you, this might be a minus or it might be a plus. So just be careful with that. Okay. But it's the same thing. It's the fundamental theorem of calculus. So when they ask you for a specific time, that's a key right there. All right. All right. So now C of 20. All right. What's C of 12? Um, C of 12 is, uh, what is it? 55. There we go. 55. Plus... Now, what you're going to have to do here is you're going to use your calculator, okay? Now, hopefully, you can use it. I'm sorry. I would I would show you how, but I left my TI-84 at school. But if you do it correctly, um, 
you should get what is this? Do, 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 do. A negative 14.670812. And that ends up giving you 40.329. You can truncate it at three decimal places. <clears throat> so now, if you don't know what to write, guys, just use this. Find the temperature of the coffee. So you're going to write the temperature of the coffee at time t equals 20 is, and then you write this. That's it. Okay? So if you don't know what to write, how to write it, just use the same verbiage right here. The temperature of the coffee at t equals 20 is, and then 40.329. And what are the values? Degrees celsius boom that's it was that so hard no not at all guys very very easy very very doable um hopefully you can see all the the, the pencils i usually do it in pen just because uh it comes out clear <clears throat> but hopefully it uh, you guys can see it all right <clears throat> so the last one okay the last one letter d so this one is where you're gonna have to do a little bit of thinking but it's doable all right <clears throat> for the model defined in part c it can be shown. They give me a second derivative. C double prime of T, okay, is this function, all right? For the time between 12 and 20 minutes, determine whether the temperature of the copy, coffee is changing at a decreasing rate or at an increasing rate, okay? So in other words, is the temperature of the coffee uh, changing at an increasing rate or is the temperature of the coffee changing at a decreasing rate that's what they want to know now <clears throat> you got to think about it okay well how do i find c double prime well <clears throat> c double prime of t if you look at it and if you think about your values here if you plug in your 12 well 100 minus 12 that's going to be a positive and then that's going to be a positive that's going to be a positive c double prime of 12 is going to be positive same thing with 20 if I plug in a 20 here, it's all going to be positive. So no matter what value I plug in, the second derivative is going to be positive. Okay? <clears throat> That's what that means. And so because the second derivative is positive on that interval, the rate of change of the temperature is increasing on this interval. Okay? Um, let me see. Since C double prime of t is greater than zero on, let's just put the interval, the interval t equals zero to t equals 12, okay? Then, let's say you don't know what to put right here. Right here, this is what you can do. The temperature of the coffee is changing at a, what? Increasing rate. I'm using their verbiage right here. The temperature of the coffee, and I'm sorry, I'm running fast, guys is changing at an increasing rate. Okay, <clears throat> and that's it. In other words, <coughs> excuse me, the temperature of the coffee is changing at an increasing rate. We can say it that way as well, okay? And that makes sense. That means it, basically it's changing, right? It, think about the coffee. It's it's decreasing in temperature, but it's doing it in a very, very quick manner. Okay. But guys, that's it. That's all there is to it. And hopefully you thought, you know what? This is, that wasn't too hard. So this is the table questions, guys. But if you have any questions, you know, feel free to write, uh, you know, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, because that way you guys can share and help each other guys because that's what what this is all about helping one another encouraging one another so all of us can pass that uh, that exam all right guys so i'll next time i'll throw in a, an, another type and then we'll go from there all right guys i'll see you on the next one